Larry Goldberg joins me here on the Sports Bash here on 97.3 ESPN. Larry, welcome back. I'm glad to have you back on the show. How are you doing today? I'm great. Thank you so much for having me. So let, let's get into this because, you know, I think one of the points of conversation about uh, an event like you're doing this summer is to remind people, this is your second event of the year in Atlantic City. And as someone who was a successful promoter in New York, now you got not one, but two events in Atlantic City. So this is old hat for you, putting on multiple events in the same town. I mean, it, it, it was a it was a really cool opportunity. Um, Atlantic City is an interesting market, shall we say? Um, the uh, the Tropicana and the uh, State Athletic Commission have been uh, wonderful to work with, and we we did the first show. I mean, I it was very last minute the that first show that we did. So there were some things that we did wrong uh, that I'm try we corrected on this show. Th- th- this show. Um, is you know like I said we, we we've got Otto Wallen who's the top uh, top fifteenth ranked uh, heavyweight in the world who's this is his bounce back fight and so that you know th- this is a combination of local you know local fighters you know some top prospects and I guess it's gonna be a fun night of boxing yeah of course it's in Atlantic City again the Tropicana showroom you mentioned Otto Wallen you know for those who might not know they're like. Uh, okay, heavyweight. I, they kind of have an idea, but you know, right, Otto, let, me, let me tell you who yeah. Otto is. Otto fought Tyson Fury. Um, I'm looking at it back. It's back in 2019. He cut him. He was like so close. You know, he, if they, 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 sh- they would have stopped that fight in other states. Um, and Otto should have been the champion then. I know Otto Wallen from Mendez Boxing Gym in New York City. Uh, and, you know, he, he's a great guy. He just fought Anthony Joshua, who is regarded as one of the top heavyweights in the world. He lost to Anthony Joshua in Saudi Arabia a couple months ago, and was it, or I should say in, in December. And, and this is his bounce back fight. And, you know, it's, it's kind of exciting to get to work with someone of Otto's caliber, because usually we're working with, you know, guys starting off, stuff, stuff of that nature. And, and Otto has fought for the... You know, for, fought for the heavyweight title before, and he will fight for the heavyweight title again. Yeah, twenty six and two, not a cheap twenty six and two either, right, Larry? Oh, he's trained, and he, by the way, he is trained by the legendary Joey Gamach. Um, Otto is for real. Otto is from Sweden. Um, without giving the details out uh, right now, this fight will be airing internationally in Sweden on two different platforms, and because he's on the card, th- this event will also be, you know, it, it will be aired also in an, on an international platform. Obviously, one of the big draws for people in our area, Larry, is Justin Figueroa fighting again Mr. in Atlantic, Atlantic City. Atlantic City. Yes. So tell, um, tell the folks about you know, what you are looking forward to about Justin getting back in the ring next Friday night. Justin is the superstar that Atlantic City needs at this time. With all the negativity out there, Justin is a positive force both in Atlantic City and in boxing. He's a good kid. He's somebody that... Uh, you know, the kids can look up to, you know, he, he came up the right way and, you know, we're, we're looking for Justin to come out here, put on a show and, you know, entertain the hometown fans. When you think about Justin, you know, if he wins and we expect him to win, obviously next Friday night in Atlantic city, his hometown, he would be 10 and O when you think about a guy getting to that double digit undefeated number, Talk to folks out there, Larry, as a boxing guy that you are, what does that mean, big picture? I mean, it means that he, you know, every time he fights, he's going to have to fight tougher and tougher competition. It means that, you know, at some point he's on the trajectory where he's going to get that phone call and from one of the big promoters and they're going to say, hey, you know, do you want to fight such and such? And he's going to have a, you know, he's going to have a title opportunity. He's going to be on international television himself. You know, he's, he he is the the first you know homegrown fighter I I think you know in, in many years. I mean, there's been others. Don't get me wrong, but I mean he 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 has the potential, like I said, to break through. Yeah, not not this pedigree. There's been other local fighters, but not of his what his potential is, right, Larry? It's, it's the well, idea of. But his potential is more than just a boxer. I mean, this is somebody who could be, I mean, he, he could, you know, <laughs> he, he could be a politician. He could, uh, you know, he could do anything he wants to do in life. And, you know, he's not just a boxer, but he is a boxer. He's a very good boxer. And, 
He, he's a local boxer who's a product of the Atlantic City Police Athletic League. You know, he's a product of the um, Atlantic City Beach Patrol. He's a product of Holy Spirit High School. Um, I mean, when, when you think about, you know, our local community, you know, Justin, it, Justin is the poster boy of everything that's good that could come out of South Jersey. Talk with Larry Goldberg. Of course, he is the promoter for Boxing Insider Promotions. Next Friday night, Justin Figueroa, Otto Wallen, and more on tap for the action-packed card, the boxing event of the summer inside Tropicana Showroom in Atlantic City. Tickets on sale right now at Ticketmaster.com. A couple other fighters I want to ask you about, Larry, who are going to be on this card. First, I want to start with Bruce Seldon coming off winning his pro debut. You got him on this card. You know, just right, talk let's about let's this. Talk about Bruce Seldon. Yes. All right. You ever want to look at the comic book hero? Like this is a guy. I mean, he looks the part. He's this guy is Jack. He can. He can. He's got a knockout punch. So you just have to enjoy the show of of Bruce Seldon Jr. And this guy for the next couple of years, he's going to be a human wrecking crew. And you know, his management team is going to build him into into a force. Um, now is is. Bruce Seldon going to be, you know, is he going to get to the WBA heavyweight champion like his father? Hey, I mean, this is going to be a story for us to watch over the next couple of years. But I can tell you that his second fight, and we've already spoken to his management about his third fight, uh, Bruce Seldon is someone to look for. And like I said, you have another local story to watch because, again, of who his father was and who he, he, and who his brother is and who he is. A couple other fighters on the card. Uh, talk to us about Jason Castanon. So Jason Cassidy and Arvante Dukes is fighting in what I like to call a club fight. These were the kind of fights that I was making in New York City. In New York City, what we were doing is we were in this tiny little room, and we just like having two local guys that are just getting started off in four rounders, and they're just banging. And this is literally you got a one and zero and a two and zero guy, both from different gyms in New York, and this is like a real war. Like this is a real slugfest, old school war. That, you know, like I said, if I, if, if I could just put, you know, six or seven fights like this on a card, I would be just very happy. Speaking of up and coming, national amateur champion Marco Romero from Kansas City. Talk about him, Larry. Marco Romero was just voted USA Boxing's number one. They voted him the number one uh, fighter in the entire tournament, and he was the number one 165-pound fighter in um, the National Golden Gloves. He just went pro in, in June. This is his second fight. Marco Romero is a situation, you know, like in the old days, if you would have gotten to see Floyd Mayweather or Manny Pacquiao in their first couple fights, that's, that's what Marco Romero is. He is... He, he is the real deal. He will be at H, well, not HBO anymore, but he will be a PBC or, or a top ranker. He'll be on one of those platforms very soon. And like I said, this is an opportunity just to see like a real blue chip prospect. Another fight that I mean, I'm personally looking forward to selfishly. This fight is Jacob soul fight again, because I, I think this guy is just phenomenal to watch. Jacob is so I, I met Jacob in New York. He, uh, he went pro on our show in December. Uh, he he is a he, he's a boxing trainer at some of the at work train fight and a breadwinner's boxing gym at Josh Popper. Uh, Josh Popper uh, from Holy Spirit is also his his trainer. Um, Jacob came on our show, got a knockout. He came back to our show. You know, he had two fights in between. Then he came back on our show here in Atlantic City in May. He had a knockout, and now he's fighting this guy James Abraham. And another again, it's another local New York fight. And the two guys are just bat- bickering back and forth online. It's actually kind of funny. You know, J- Jacob is an all-action fighter. He's got knockout power. And, you know, he's, he's also, you know, like I said, he's a very popular coach in New York City. And, of course, we can't forget, at your last fight, you had the great Larry Holmes on site for, you know, to meet people, photos, and all that kind of stuff. And this time, you have another Irish boxing Ward. legend. Irish Mickey Ward. I mean, everybody I talk to about Atlantic City boxing, it's like it seems that everybody, you know, they talk about two things. They talk about the Tyson Spinks and they talk about Gotti Ward. So it, it made sense in the summertime to, you know, bring in, you know, Mickey Ward. And it, it was sort of it, it sort of that was sort of how Marco Romero was was offered to us because we had made a deal with Mickey Ward and it was all sort of through the same management company. So he'll be there signing autographs 
and he'll be and then he'll be selling, uh, taking pictures, and he's got his own line of clothing that he's going to be selling to uh, the fans. That's very cool, uh, Larry. You know, before we wrap this up, I did want to ask you just kind of big picture because, as I said, this is your second time at Tropicana Showroom in Atlantic City. You brought the first boxing fights back to Atlantic City in Tropicana in seven years. For you, <laughs> you know, what has all of this been like? Big picture for you, being a guy from South Jersey. I mean, it's it's cool. I mean, I'm too close to the situation right now to really give you that answer. Um, but it's, it, it, you know, I was just, I remember being a kid going to the fights there and, you know, here we are years later, we're doing the fights there and, you know, and, and we're doing them, like I said, there's a paint by numbers way that I always felt boxing should be done. You know, you know, part of it's going through, you know, dealing with places like the PAL, part of it's dealing with local fighters like we're dealing with. And like I said, and our hook was, you know, through the New York fighters. Um, so it, like I said, it was a great experience. Um, and like I said, I'm, I'm looking forward to doing more of them because, like I said, you know, I, I've been told I'm the first promoter to ever go to Atlantic City High School to promote events in Atlantic City. So it's just been a lot of fun. And, you know, if, if you know, if the community comes out and supports these, you know, we could do a lot more of these type of shows. There's a lot of local talent that, you know, has been contacting us to get on these cards. It's just, you know, it's just it's difficult to match some of these guys because, you know, it's just it's boxing. Larry, I appreciate you jumping on today. Again, don't forget to tell folks real quick, Ticketmaster.com. Tickets are on sale right now next Friday, July 26th. Yes, and uh, they can meet the world-famous Josh Henning. To, uh, you're going to be doing a live feed there. Yes, we will be uh, doing a the show live on location for game night, and then we'll be there to watch the fights. People can come out and watch the fights with 97.3 ESPN. And we're, we're going to have some of the fighters um, – you know, on, on the, uh, that are at the event are going to try to come on the show. Jarrell, big baby Miller is going to come to the event. Um, he'll be around signing autographs. And like I said, this will, this will be a, this will be a fun event. And, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm hoping that the community will come out and support, you know, bringing local boxing back to Atlantic city. Larry, appreciate you jumping on and take some time out of your day. We'll talk soon. Okay. Thank you so much.